Yeah. Now, here we have it. The, like we did it the first time we set up this production. The very first time after I found the ways back to nature for how to collect the oil, the very precious oil from the fish liver. Um, on this side here we have liver collected and that has been exposed to the winter condition when liver and cellular structures freeze and they don't have the contents of enough glycols the cell walls will burst so when you then expose it to the condition of spring and then summer it gives away its oil by itself and that is amazing and it's done because then we can have the joy and all the beneficiary delicious vitamins from these livers so look at this it's a clear nearly yellowish color here we have a setup and look at this knife throughout the whole process we have found that using a metal knife to cut the fish and liver we will kill off some of the beneficiary antioxidants and uh, there are a lot of literature around this so even vegetables and fruit deteriorates from use of metallic contact when cutting so here is a ceramic knife and here you see we have a box we have a heating facility and this is exactly the same we used on the first setup back in 2010 here we have a kettle and a thermometer and here we have water we are not going to use very much water but as you see here we have it all put upon sacred geometry and this sacred geometry you can also find a lot of stuff about on the internet but this is how it looks like the setup okay so now we are going to show you how this winter condition has affected uh, the liver and we will also show you that here in northern Norway we do have winter actually uh, we could put it in a freezer because we are we have become modern now so we have the option to use a freezer instead of taking it out in the winter to, to give it that winter condition we can do it artificially by putting it in a freezer deep freezer so now we will go out and pick up a box of liver already prepared yeah please Yeah, in this box we have prepared the liver for this extraction and uh, it's not much we have done with it. We have only crushed it up and when we do that it gives a more efficient way of having the oil out from the liver. So now we will take this oil 
this container, this box in and uh, continue the whole process. Yeah, turn it on. Now we can open it. As you can see here, and you can see the other liver, the color on the liver changes while it's getting exposed to the condition of winter. It gets a tiny little brownish color, but as you can see, when it's back on the summer condition, with its oil coming out, it's about the same color and this happens to cellular tissue when it's exposed to exactly this condition winter it goes from being a white slightly uh, little brownish to pink to this color and that's how it is now we now we are on the next step we have a tiny little drop of water in a kettle or an oven and you see there is a thermometer there. The water cannot be warmer than body temperature and this is very important because when you pass the body temperature you will have real serious problems. The oil will then be ruined. You can't use it. And on my first setup, I used my elbow as the meter because I am a body and I feel when the water is warmer than my body. Here we have to show you, we have put on a meter. Mm -hmm. And here we are taking the crushed liver that has been exposed to winter and we have the content into the kettle just to have it set for a much faster way of creating spring and summer. Um, this is done of efficiency not because of need because you can see here on the other box there that the oils gives it away by itself. But here we are monitoring the whole process all the time and we turn off the heat. The very instant we see it goes up. Um, the heat coming off from here is so so small that and this is done to secure that it doesn't go up too fast uh, we don't want to have temperatures above body temperature none whatsoever on this frying thermometer the bottom line down here symbolize the body temperature and that is something I checked up front a long time ago. Uh, and we don't need the quick silver, no, <laughs> the mercury. We don't need the mercury to pass this level because then it's above body temperature. So um, that's actually the only thing we have to watch now. Yeah. We have to check from time to time. Now we can see the mercury. And now I will stir gently with the thermometer to make sure that the temperature doesn't go above that level. Yeah. Now I can turn down the heat a little more. So we have to be on alert all the time to make sure the temperature stays 
this could of course be done more efficient by monitoring it mechanically by a thermostat but this is how we did it the first time and that's what I'm showing you all how we found the ways to efficiently have this result and yeah and you will see the final result now it's just staying here awaiting being pulled over in containers as you can see we have here a plastic container and a steel kettle and I showed you earlier about the knife and this is how I did it the first time and that's what I'm now showing you how I did this when I found the ways of the methods completely of course a metal kettle wouldn't give what we need here so of course we will we are today using other remedies than this to have this done so it's improved a lot uh, here we have these plastic boxes these are safe boxes it's the same boxes used for ice cream uh, here in Norway and I think in many other countries and uh, these boxes this plast in the boxes doesn't give off any toxic remedies um, we will now have this substance containing the oil now the the oil the liver the crushed liver it goes nearly into a soup consist consistence when we crush it. Um, and now it's into the condition of spring and slowly now into the next condition, I call it condition, of summer. Uh, as I showed you on a the thermometer, the temperature has now reach the level where it's body temperature so now we will pour this substance over in these boxes okay do you, you do it We are doing it like this to have tiny la layers because uh, we are now going to expose this to the winter condition again and by doing that the oil that is by weight and mass lighter than water will go to the top and leave the tiny little water on the bottom and it's easy to separate uh, and that way as you can see now it's you can see that it's fairly transparent already depending on how much we have put into the box but here you can see and compared to this pure natural way it will now soon look the same and the reason for crushing the liver is for creating a larger surface to have the oil easily, more easy, easily extracted or collected, as we say, from the liver substance. So the liver cells get a much larger surface by being crushed. Here we have the solid liver. It will take it will take a little time, a little while, before the oil is out from the liver this way. But this way it happens instantly. And this is what I really discovered when I did this 
first time that this was it, so to say. Here it's out to winter again. And it's now very important to have it cool down very fast. And this is to secure and, and make sure the quality of the final product will be as we demand. So it has to be deep frozen within three hours, absolute. The best is within an hour, and this we will see. Are we doing two boxes? Uh, we will do them both, but from what from what we see here now, this is how I set this up. The first time we did this, when we found back to the old ways. As you can see in here, you can see that the oily substance is buttery. It's like butter. And you can see the remnants of the liver laying on, uh, on one side there because it's been out of level and that's been done by purpose in the winter condition to have the oil easier to collect. And we scrape off that buttery fat, the oil, and we have that into the filter here. You may level the box up and scrape it so it doesn't go on the outside. And as you can see, the consistency is very much like butter. And it needs to be frozen because that will make it easier to have it into the filter. And we are avoiding having too much of the liver remnants. And as we can see, it's melting into the oily substance pretty fast. So we need to do this in one operation and to have it all off. It's beautiful. And as it goes into the filter now, it will get back to room temperature, which is spring and then summer and then the particles will be filtrated out and we try to get more or less all of the oil out of the box. Uh, we have modernized these principles but we follow the exact same principles when making this oil on a daily basis for you all. We're following each and every step that we found back to, that the ancients didn't know about and we are knowing now. So as you can see this beautiful woman, she is really getting more or less everything out of the box and you can see that the liver that has been crushed is left back in this box. Yeah, we have to have it all. And the secrets is our new way of doing this. We have found easier ways and I think you, the viewer, easily will find ways to do this a whole lot easier but please follow the ways of the nature use the seasons in doing this it's hard. yeah i think you can go and take the other box because we will need both boxes just you leave that on the side we are all big family here at Rosita and um, that's how it is and then he's coming all the way from Michigan in the United States visiting us here now to be a part of me 
revealing how we're doing this for the whole world to see, so that you also can implement these principles back home, having real pure oil prepared on your kitchen from the fish harvested by yourself. And he is very keen on taking pictures because he wants to tell the whole world what he's been a part of. Because in front of this process here, he has followed us all the way from the fish was harvested out here in the pristine waters of Helgeland which is Norwegian, in English that means the Holy Land. To find the ways of the ancestors, the very, very old ways, even older than the Vikings. And here you can see it. Yeah. To filtrate and purify this oil even more, we do have a long filtration process, all by the same kind of filters. These here, these filters are normal unbleached coffee filters that you can buy all over this planet. And we have here set up the filtration as we have it for the final product you receive. So here it is. So now you can see how many layers it goes through to get out all the proteins that is in the oil. And now this woman has filled the filter. Yeah, uh, it, it can take a little more. Yeah. Now we will leave this till it reaches the state of summer and when it does it goes through the filter and as we can see it has already started to drip down there on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, here we now see that this doesn't speed up to go so fast. There's drops coming down every now and then. So it has to stay, this process has to be done in a very cold environment to keep the oil on a temperature around five degrees all the time. And we can take a look at the original liver that has given the oil out with any processing at all. Um, and you can see how golden it is and how much oil it has come out of this liver alone. Temperature, temperature, and temperature it is. After the filtration, this stage is over. Then we will have the oil filtrated through the filtrating process through all these filters. And that will also be rather time consuming. So it takes a little while just to extract liver from one single fish. But doing it by hands, the way we do it, we know that this product is so pure, raw and exact from nature that we are very proud to have it out to you all. 
uh, our pride in this product is enormous and to share it with you all I think is the best and we hope with this that you will all find this oil so good with so many specific beneficiary yeah let's say properties for you and your whole body that you will find it just as precious as we do and the Vikings did when I named it the gold of the ocean and our ancestors far far back in time when they discovered the ways of the nature that we now have rediscovered and revealed to you all. So to you all take care and know that we do this to share with the whole world. Thank you.